Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and it is Monday and if most of you are like me you'll not like Monday so I thought I would do a tag video today just to start the week off on a good note. Now I saw this on my friend with Sidious channel aka the lovely Natasha and uh, she uploaded this and it's called the plus size beauty tag and it was originally created by Calixels here on YouTube and the tag is what it's self-explanatory really is to make a plus size sim because all too often we see sims that are um, smaller or average or whatever and it's very rare that you'll see a plus size sim and uh, in let's plays and speaking from experience being a let's player and all that I am guilty of it as well and pretty much my reason behind it is because people will be negative if you do a thin sim. So if you do a sim that's really thin, people will be negative about that. Or if you do a sim that is larger, people will be negative about that. And I don't really care what people say about me for my let's play, so I don't, that doesn't bother me. But what bothers me is when people make derogatory comments and then people read them in my comment section. Because I don't want anyone's feelings to be hurt or anyone to be upset by a flippant comment that someone you know, with a bit of a cruel heart has made. So essentially that's why I always tend to make average. I don't make really thin sims, but I don't make plus size sims either. And today I've decided to draw a line in that sand and say that, do you know what, in the future, in my let's plays, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have uh, plus size sims because in my own game, in my personal games, I do do that. And this here, this lovely girl is Miss Kayla Christie. Now she, I wouldn't actually say that she's plus size. In all honesty, like I really don't think that I would say she's plus size, Kayla. But um, but I wanted to make, I wanted her shape to be very similar to a friend of mine. I've got a friend of mine uh, at work. I won't mention any names, but I've got a friend of mine at work and she has an awesome figure. She's got, uh, you know, good, a good set of, uh, <laughs> a good set of jubblies, let's just say that. And she's got a, a small, her waist comes in and then she comes out and she's all bum and legs like that's where most of her she carries most of her waist um her weight but she has a really nice shape and um, she's kind of hourglass but her legs are thicker than Kayla's so I wanted to make Kayla's legs thicker like more you know thicker all the way down but with the sliders and the sims you can't really do that you can't not the sliders but the push and pull thing you can't really make them any bigger so in an ideal world Kayla would have been the same up top but down bottom she would have been a little bit uh, bottom heavy, I'd kind of made them more of an apple shape to match my friend. But uh, Kayla, I love how she turned out. I can't wait to actually use her and play with her. I left the tattoo on her because I thought the tattoo was really cute down her back. And for clothes, I wasn't really sure what to do for clothes for Kayla. And I was originally going to make her a redhead and then decided for her to be a brown head, a brown head, a brunette. But for clothes, I kind of thought from a plus size perspective what um, they would be comfortable in. Because like I say, my friend at work who's got a great figure, she um, is plus size, but she wears clothes that are form fitting so like this top here for example it comes in at the waist it shows off the waist it shows off her nice legs etc it's not like a big moo moo it's not like a big shapeless thing and I wanted to kind of make sure that I did this for my outfits in here and kind of looked at it from that perspective and saying right well what would um a plus size sim be comfortable in you know maybe not a wee short dress is you know I mean don't get me wrong there are some plus size ladies out there who wear really short stuff and they pull them off and they look great but for the most part it's few and far between who would have the confidence to do that and uh, you know if you do more power to you awesome but for me Kayla was going to be a bit more demure she was going to go for the kind of classic look and uh, this is me trying to find her formal wear now, to me formal wear is uh, what you would wear to like a function at work I originally thought that because I thought that would be nice as like a, a guest at some event but I do end up changing my mind just to make it a bit more uh, glamorous for our Kayla and I think she ends up rocking the formal wear really really well I love that dress I would wear that dress I would wear that dress any heartbeat 
and a change up her hair to like a classy updo because her first style of hair is very cool and casual uh you know like she's just got out, out of bed and, and sorted it out and I've changed I've put the false eyelashes on those false lashes are from Kijiko and if you just google that Kijiko eyelashes sims 4 you will see it and then I'm using the makeup from the party pack and it's got the glitter on it I freaking love it I love it so I think she looks awesome in this formal wear I think it's a really really nice dress then for her athletic wear I kind of just use some things from Spaddy so I use those kind of yoga pants and then that top there is from the game pack which is the outdoor one outdoor retreat I can, I can never remember the names of the game packs. I really am quite rubbish. <laughs> for her um, sleepwear, I just went for this towel because... I, did I? No. I thought I went for the towel. No, I didn't. I went for this top and shorts because that's... I've got a set of pyjamas pretty much like that and I tend to wear that sort of thing to bed so I thought I'd go with that and then I wanted to go for a party wear so to me the party wear is something that you know for a family event or you know something like that it's not like a, a party party I always think of it as a sort of family thing so I'm just looking through what I have and I decided that I would go with one of these tops those are like my favourite tops I think they're great and I think they show off Kayla's waist and uh, for the bottoms, I was going to put a skirt on. I thought a skirt would be quite cute. But in the end, I think I go with jeans and just make it quite, kind of like a quite a groovy groovy outfit but I really love how this sim turned out I will put her on the gallery she does have custom content so be sure to click your custom content um like show custom content if you don't have custom content in your game it's fine you can still download her she'll just come without the custom content so you will have her face and her body shape and you just dress her basically how you want and uh, she'll come with some things if you've got the base game she'll come with that top and things like that um so don't worry you can still download them even though they've got custom content on them and you can play with kayla in your game and uh, yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video please leave a like like if you have please leave a like because it lets me know if creative sims and tags are stuff that you want to see and uh, it really does help as i've said before and i've got kayla as the friend of the world tag i've got his romantic I have her as ambitious I believe I, yep I think I'm going yep ambitious and also outgoing so I do love her and this little uh, sort of catwalk here I got that idea from my lovely friend Natasha Wasidia please big props up to her for that because I saw it on her channel I thought that looks awesome so yeah that's what I thought I thought I'll just include that because it lets you see her outfits that little bit better if you can see that but yeah if you I'm not tagging anyone in particular because I think that we should all do it we should all do this tag I think it would be fun and uh, if you want to do it then please let me know either you know tweet me on twitter which is just at XM Sugar, or if you hashtag your sim XM Sugar, I'll be able to go in and see it and uh, yeah I'll, I can't wait to see your creations and you know take this as a positive thing love yourself go for it and uh Back straight, boobs out. Love you guys. Bye.